Wow. And I thought I knew some people that were obsessed with pumpkins. Well, I do. That's not necessarily a lie, but Halloween. They really like pumpkins a lot. To the, to really to the level that on their new album, My God Given Rights, essentially we have the day after tomorrow, only the earth has been inherited by the pumpkins. Not the Smashing Pumpkins either. These pumpkins are not smashed whatsoever. Unless they're drunk. But that's a completely different story. Let's talk about this album a little bit. Let's talk about this band a little bit, considering they are celebrating their 30-year anniversary uh, with a brand new album. This is their 15th record, which means that they're averaging at least an album every roughly two years. And there was just an album by them two years ago entitled Straight Out of Hell that we covered. And so here we are, once again, talking about Halloween. There are some things that I enjoy about this band and some things that I enjoy about this album. These guys are classics whenever it comes to power metal and really in the latter stages of their career they have done great things with power, progressive, and uh, really with progressive music as well. However, this is an album that definitely has more of the, uh, the markings and the resemblances to traditional power metal in it uh, with some progressive twinges here and there to kind of outline the... Uh, outline some of the, the concepts that they have used for some of these tracks. Uh, the first thing that I will say is that this album, all depending on which version that you get, can be a long son of a bitch. The original version of this is more than an hour long with 13 tracks on it. Uh, however, there are some versions that include up to three additional or four additional bonus tracks that take the runtime to close to 80 minutes. And my first complaint is the fact that it's a little it's too long. It is. I mean, I, there's no disrespect really meant whenever I say things like that. It's just that this is an album that it really does overstay its welcome a little bit. There are a lot of tracks on here where there are some individual qualities or characteristics to it. However, there's just not enough differentiation uh, to really uh, validate this being as long that it is. I can understand having an overabundance of material. However, it's sometimes best to pick, choose, and cut uh, a couple of things at times. But uh, for those of you who are getting the digital version or the version that has the uh, 16 to 17 tracks as opposed to the 13, well, have fun with that because it's definitely a wild and crazy experience. That's the one that I listened to, and I, I was a bit tired by the end of it. Does that necessarily mean that this is a bad album? Does that mean that this album is, is very weak? Uh, no, it actually doesn't mean that whatsoever. The average or the uh, album itself feels like it's relatively average to slightly above average. But uh, whenever it comes to some of Halloween's other triumphs, this is one that feels like it falls just a tad bit shy of that sort of majesty. Uh, even whenever I think about uh, Straight Out of Hell, I really think about um, just how solid that that album was from conception all the way to the completion. I, I just really enjoyed the way in which that album flowed. It was a darker album, which certainly played to its benefit. It was one that showed Halloween really embracing a lot of social issues with a certain element that only they can deliver. So uh, that definitely brought a lot of unique elements to that particular album. With this one, uh, there are a lot of stories that are involved here, like such as Lost in America, which is based off of a situation that the band found themselves in uh, whenever they were on a flight. Uh, so you do have some some information there and of course my god given right is a it, it's a line that we have all heard however it was one that was heard in reference to what you're going to do with your life and it's your god given right to be happy so there are some pretty neat ideas here i do like some of the concepts and the overall lyrical ideas that are being presented here so it's not a total whitewash it's just that the differentiation of of this element is not one that is really prevalent enough in order to usher in change that is uh, that fluctuates enough throughout uh, the length of this album to really give it that much in the way of uniquity or individuality. Uh, this is a disc that can sometimes feel a bit in love with itself. It's one that can sometimes feel like it has uh, just a little bit too much in of uh, of one side really present as opposed to expanding the horizons a little bit but whenever they do expand their horizons the one thing that I will say is that uh, like everybody else for example is a great idea uh, 
And You, Still of War, is a terrific finale for the traditional 13-track edition of this album. Uh, whenever there are deviations, whenever they do change things up a little bit, this album really shines. It does a lot of good things and does a lot of things right, which is no surprise considering Halloween's been doing this for a long freaking time. They've been doing this for five, actually six times the length of time that I have been reviewing albums here on this channel for you guys. So they know a little bit more about what they want than I do. However, at the same time, it's my job to be critical. Overall, this is a disc that has a lot of great elements. However, it's one that I feel my return to it will be based around choice tracks. And I think it's going to mainly be tracks such as My God Given Right, which has just a great flow to it. Uh, Battles One is another great song. Those are two great ones uh, back to back. And then, of course, I just mentioned, uh, like everyone else, uh, Creatures in Heaven, uh, New Still of War is another one. And uh, Lost in America is actually a really awesome track as well with Russian Roulette, or Russian Roule, or Roule, I suppose is what they're going for there, um, following that up. So there are plenty of moments on here that encourage me and make me want to really come back to this disc, but it's just not quite enough. There's a lot of... It's kind of like having one section of a room perfectly clean. However, in the middle of that, there is a section of clutter. I would give this album a 78 out of 100. This is a disc that does a lot of things right, as I mentioned. However, it's one where it is not consistently gold. But what did you guys think about My God Given Right by Halloween? Another classic in your eyes, or is this one that is just not quite uh, up to that God tier level? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, subscribe if you were uh, not a subscriber before this video and you liked what you saw. Like this video. Dislike it. Call me an asshole. I don't give a shit what you do. Just please do it. It certainly helps. It's one thing that I am very thankful for all of you for. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks.